So this question starts off with an equation. We have 2x minus 3y equals 5. The question goes on to say one of the two equations in a system of equations is given. Okay, so that means we have some other equation down here that we don't know. Which, I'm sorry, the system has an infinite number of solutions. So what does that mean, right? So this is kind of a weirdly formatted question. Typically for system of equations questions, we're provided with the system, but that's okay. We're going to just work through this maybe in a reverse manner. It says that the system has an infinite number of solutions. So whenever we see infinite number of solutions, that pretty much means that the two equations are the same, right? In order for, the, in order for you to have an infinite number of solutions, right, if I were to graph one of the equations, and let's say that's my line, and then I were to go and graph, and I'll use a different color, the other equation, and it matched directly on top of that line, right? Then we would say that system has an infinite number of solutions, which again means the two equations are identical or are, are the same, right? I could write, for instance, I could say 4x minus 6y equals 10 down here, and they don't look identical, but in essence they are, right, because uh, this is just this equation, right, times 2. So the next sentence here says, which equation could be the other equation in the system? Oh, so funny enough, um, and I did not plan this out, I think I found the answer already by giving you the example here. But let's say I hadn't done that, right? So in essence, this question is saying, like, which one of these answer choices is equivalent to this equation here? And when we look at answer choice A, and we see that this 4x minus 6y equals 10 can be simplified, right? So sometimes the simplify strategy shows up in the answer choices, right? So my, my thought on using simplification is anytime you can simplify, you should do so, whether it's in the question or in the answer choices. So when I simplify this entire answer choice by dividing by two, it becomes 2x minus 3y equals 5. And because that is the exact same equation as our starting material here, then we know that that must be the correct answer because that is how we would get an infinite number of solutions. So the takeaway here, first of all, is the terminology infinite number of solutions means that the two equations in the system of equations are exactly the same, even if one is a multiple, right, of the other. It just means if I reduce it or if I simplify it in its simplest form, the equations are the same. Hopefully that makes sense. Choice A is the best answer.